All too often, a professional may become aware of a risk of harm to a child, but does not report that suspicion to a children's aid society based on the belief that privacy prevents them from doing so. The Provincial Advocate for Children and Youth and the Information and Privacy Commissioner of Ontario have worked together to develop a resource to clarify some common misunderstandings about privacy. We'll cover some of the highlights here. You can find the publication titled Yes You Can on the IPC website at ipc.on.ca. Children's aid societies have broad duties and powers relating to the protection of children. Despite this authority, many professionals, including healthcare providers and teachers, sometimes refuse to provide information to child protection workers. During a number of coroner's inquests into the deaths of children, CAS caseworkers have testified about the frustration they experience when trying to obtain information from other parties. Professionals working with children must ensure that they do not wrongly see privacy as a barrier to disclosing personal information about children in need of protection. Healthcare practitioners may disclose personal health information so children's aid societies can carry out their function. The key point is that dentists and other professionals dealing with children are not obligated to prove abuse or neglect. They just need to immediately report what is suspected. It is not about certainty, but about having reasonable grounds to suspect that a child is or may be in need of protection. Professionals can disclose information to protect a child from potential harm. Privacy is not a barrier to disclosing this important information. For more information, please visit the IPC website at ipc.on.ca.